YouTube and Rumble, but he'll teach you exactly how he has kept his weight off for free at thehealthyfat.com forward slash outspoken. Click on the link in the description below the video. I do. She's my private GP. And she is an extremely eminent member of the medical profession. Yes! 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 She, I mean, I won't even dragging half the names uh, in the medical profession as well as her patients. I mean, it is absolutely outrageous in my view that the BBC can be, and they've mounted this as a deflection campaign because they knew Hugh Edwards had to plead guilty. <gasps> they have had a series of
indeed. Well, look, thank you for sharing your view on on it. I, I, you know, it must be very mixed emotions. Personally, I just think, oh, Diana, you shouldn't have trusted this guy. He was so wrong in so many ways. And maybe if you hadn't trusted Muhammad Al-Fayed, uh, you would still be with us today. But Neil Hamilton, so good to talk to you. Thank you very much. Good job. I know a lot of you are dealing with or have dealt with these symptoms, especially amongst the women in the outspoken family. Now, obviously, I haven't experienced menopause firsthand, obviously. That doesn't make sense. But I've heard from so many of you about the challenges that come with it. So I'm coming to you with good news, I hope, because by now most of you have heard me talk about Verso. Uh, I've been taking their products for months and it's been absolutely transformative for me. But today I want to focus on all of you amazing women out there, especially those dealing with menopause or perimenopause. Okay, I'm listening. You have my attention. I've heard about how tough this phase of life can be. But Salbine by Verso is designed to target those symptoms head on by addressing the root cause. It's formulated with ingredients that have proven to increase NAD plus levels in the body. Now that is huge because NAD plus is what keeps your cells healthy and energized, but it drops off as we age. Yes, exactly, exactly. Especially during menopause. Here's the thing, boosting NAD plus can make a big difference in how you feel. Women who've taken Salbine are reporting some pretty amazing changes. Hot flashes disappearing, more energy, joint pain release, weight loss, and mental clarity. I've even heard from some listeners who've told me that their periods have come back or have become regulated and they feel like they've turned back the clock on aging. The ingredients in Salbine have shown to balance hormones without going the traditional hormone therapy route. It helps with inflammation and metabolism, which is especially helpful for managing weight and keeping you feeling your best. Plus, these research-backed ingredients have been shown to improve bone health, which is crucial for post-menopausal women at risk of osteoporosis. What I love about Salbine and think you will too is that it doesn't just mask the symptoms of menopause, it tackles the root causes of aging, helping you feel stronger, healthier and more energized from the inside out. So if you haven't tried it yet and you're ready to take control of your health and feel more like yourself, click the link in the description on YouTube and Rumble or head over to buy.ver.so and use the coupon code OUTSPOKEN to save 15% on your first order today. So If you're tired of the sleepless nights, the hot flashes, or just feeling off, give Salbine a try. It's already helped so many of you, and I'm confident it can help even more if you feel better too. So to repeat, that's buy.ver.so forward slash outspoken and use the coupon code outspoken for a 15% discount. We don't do that here. But ladies here, I want to talk to you about the other big story, which has a royal connection this week. Muhammad Al-Fayed, these explosive revelations from the BBC with multiple rape claims. For folk who don't know, Muhammad Al-Fayed was, of course, the father of Dodi Al-Fayed, who died in the Paris Tunnel with uh, Princess Diana, the owner of Harrods for many years. Okay, I'm listening. You have my attention. But they're pulling in a woman, Lady C, called Anne Coxon, into this and seemingly trying to turn her almost into the Ghislaine Maxwell of the piece. And I believe you have a personal connection with her and some real insight into what the BBC are trying to do here. Are you sure about that? I do. She's my private GP, and she is an extremely eminent member of the medical profession. Wow. She, I mean, I won't even drag in half the names uh, in the medical profession as well as her patients. I mean, it is absolutely outrageous in my view. Oh, Lord. Again that the BBC can be, and they've mounted this as a deflection campaign because they knew Hugh Edwards had to plead guilty. They have had a series of scandals, all of which they have managed to dampen down. Uh, there was the Jimmy Savile matter. Yes! 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 Then there was the Martin Bashir matter where uh, Martin Bashir practically drove the already troubled Diana to insanity. And I mean, literal insanity, because she ended up being 
paranoid in the medical sense of the word, gratis his lies. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Not only did they know about this, but they covered it up for 25 years. They destroyed the career of the person who originally complained about it, the, the art. He's, I, I'm saying artist because I don't know the, the technological terms. Yeah, he, really, nigga? He was like the but graphic designer, the wasn't who, he? Yeah, I know who you mean. Yeah. Yes, yes. He's the one who did, did at their behest, thinking they were genuine. He did the, the uh, mock-ups. <laughs>